This morning, our Pushing the Limits series goes to high school. Calculus may be confusing for many people, but we met two students who not only conquered it, they pulled off an achievement that can stump college professors. Chip Reed is inside Paul VI Catholic High School in Fairfax, Virginia, adding up the success. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. When I walked into this classroom this morning, I thought I was walking into a language class because that is Greek to me. But you're about to meet a couple of high school students who know all of that and exactly what it means and a lot more. <laughs> Landon Labuskus may seem like an ordinary 15-year-old. It's N squared. In many ways, he is, but he also knows what it's like, at least in math, to achieve perfection. Of the more than 302,000 students around the world who took the advanced placement calculus test last year, he was one of only 12 who achieved a perfect score. And most of the test takers were juniors and seniors. He was a 14-year-old sophomore. What does it feel like to have been perfect on this test? Honestly, it's a little overwhelming. Um, I mean, it's lots of interviews like this. And a tweet from the president. That was pretty cool. Pretty oh. cool. <laughs> That's an understatement, right? Yeah. <laughs> His perfect score placed him in the top 0.004%. 0.004 means one in what? 25,000. Um, I got 2,500. That's, that would be point, point, point point zero zero 0.004%. Four. It's 0.004%. So oh, percent. oh, very yeah. good. He, he beat me at math. Okay, beating a TV news reporter at math is no big deal, but Landon's parents say perfection is a big deal for him. Mom and Dad, were you surprised that he got a perfect score? I was surprised. Not because you don't think highly of him. No, no, not at all. You just figured he'd probably make a silly mistake somewhere I, I along did. the I did. That's just natural. Even the college professors who write the exams make mistakes. So the professors don't expect that this will happen. It's why it is so remarkable when a high school student who doesn't have a college degree, let alone a PhD in that subject area, is able to take an AP exam and not miss a single point. You'll have nine times... Landon also credits his is calculus it, teacher, like, Ann the, Watkins. The, you say that, that he takes an intuitive approach. Can calculus be intuitive and artistic? Oh, absolutely, positively. You come to calculus class to push the limits about, of limits. Absolutely, absolutely. One of my t-shirts says, calculus students know their limits. That is something Cedric Argetta understands well. A 17-year-old senior at Lincoln High School in Los Angeles, he too was one of the 12 students with a perfect score on the calculus exam. I like the absoluteness of math that there's always an answer, but I know that there's not always an answer now in upper level math. Sometimes there are unsolved problems and just the unknown out there that makes me want to you know, solve it. Cedric's record with Rubik's Cube is 15 seconds, and he has a near obsession with avoiding careless errors in math. I don't like making mistakes. I, I don't. Cedric's mother Lillian is a nurse who was born in the Philippines, and his father Marcos is a maintenance worker, originally from El Salvador. Um, <laughs> it's a little <laughs> emotional because, of, you know, this country offers a lot of, of good things to the immigrants, like, like us. So. I'm just thankful. Me, I didn't have the opportunity to study. We are here to help him to do whatever he wants. Aside from the perfect score, that's another big thing Cedric and Landon have in common. Parents who encouraged their children to do their best. The problem with somebody like Landon is that his best just keeps getting better. And so it's hard to, to know when um, he's done his best. I don't need to answer. And as you can see, I've been using the time productively to sharpen my prodigious math skills. I'm not sure about that last one, but the number of the day, the number of today is 12, the number who had a perfect score on this exam. By the way, both Landon and Cedric want to be engineers. Landon wants to uh, possibly send a rocket to Mars, and Cedric wants to design something that is so cool that his name will be known around the world. Mm -hmm. oh, I believe. Wow, Chip. I believe that's going to happen. I believe. That's yeah. nice. That is I love both parents, too. Yes. The pride that both parents felt about their sons. Yeah. Really good to see. It's an American story. That's right. An American Immigrants story. come here and their kids you know, take a real to place. To succeed. Don't we like this line, though, best just keeps getting better. I like I that. I want to live like that.